fresh service project management tutorial hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use fresh service for project management so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on freshworks.com you can also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that, if you don't know what is Fresh Service or this Freshworks, it is a cloud-based IT service management solution developed by Freshworks, designed to enhance the efficiency of IT operations through a user-friendly interface and AI-driven features. And Fresh Service offers a comprehensive platform that integrates various functionalities such as incident management, problem management, change management, and service catalog management. And the platform aims to transform IT departments from cost centers into value creators by streamlining processes and improving service delivery. And now to create an account on Freshworks or Fresh Service, you can simply click the link in the description or alternatively just click the try it for free button on the top right corner in here. In which upon clicking on this button, you will be directed on this page. It will show you that you can sign up by filling out the required information including the first name, last name, or email, the company name and also by entering your phone number in here and just click try it free button to proceed then you will be directed on this page where it will show you some of the questions that you need to answer with given in here and after answering some of the question just click start setup button to proceed and after that you will now be able to be directed on this dashboard on freshservice.com in which as you can see under this dashboard it will show you the number or the data of overdue tickets, tickets to the day, open tickets, tickets on hold, and many more. And on the left side manual, it will show you a variety of options to navigate. But to proceed, just click this project option right here in managing your own projects. And after that, you should see your delays of your project. But to add or create a new project, just click the plus button on the top panel and simply click here this button that says or option project. Then you will be directed to this page, and all you need to do is to start creating a new project. You simply fill out the required information, including the project name in here, the description of the project, and also you can choose to sample or select template in here of project. We have here belong project or even the templates from gallery. Moving on below here, you could also enter or select the start date of this project and also the end date in here. So basically, in creating a new project, make sure to fill out the required information in here and also select the project type. We have here business project or also project software now at this point i'm just going to choose the end date in here after that below here you could also select a project manager or a person that will manage this project and aside from that below here you can even choose the visibility such as to make it private project or public depending on your preferences and after that you could also search here the agents if you want to and now to proceed just click the create button on the top right corner and upon doing so, we will not be able to be directed in here, in which it will show you the project that we have now created. And under this all task, you will be able to see here the list of your tasks, such as to do in progress and also the done list in here. And by clicking to any of the tasks, it will show us on the right side panel that we can start customizing the info and the details of any of these tasks in here, such as to create or add a new attachment, add a description in here and notes, the predecessor, successor and many more. So you can basically customize some of it on the right side panel upon clicking the task on the list. And from here you can also click the three dots on the top right corner and it will show you in here that you can add a columns or even customize the card in here. Moving on to a new task, just click this new task button on the right side panel and simply fill out this required information including the project name, the title of this task, for example I'm going to enter task 1 and also the description in here below. You'd also select the priority such as urgent, high, and many more. And even choose the sign in here depending on your preferences or your agent in here. And also enter the start date on this calendar and the end date in here. So make sure that you also fill out the required information in all of it in order to start creating a new task that will be added in our list in here. And for this task list, I'm going to enter evaluation piece and tags. So you'd also enter it if you want to and even attachment in here. And now to save it, just click the save button below to proceed. And after saving it, you will now be able to see here that the task has now been created successfully. And it will show in here the details of it that you can add note while under the right panel on the plan and the properties of it. So basically that is just how you can start adding or creating a new task on this 
under project management. You could also add a subtask if you want to, customize the predecessor, successor, and also add a new link in here depending on your preferences. Or in, you can choose to duplicate by, duplicate, cost, cost by, and many more. Or alternatively, you could simply navigate on the right side panel the option in here that make you easily customize some of this element of this task and also other details about it. And now if we go back to this task list of our task under projects, it will show us in here all of the tasks that are listed with its status, assignee, and also the title of it, and end date. And aside from manually entering or filling out the required details, you could even import a CSP file in here or Excel file by clicking the three dots on the top right corner and choose import in here. By clicking on it, just simply choose the import CSP file on your computer or Excel file in here. But if you also want to import some of the tasks in here that we just created, just click the import button to proceed importing this file, such as to make it on CSV or even on Excel file. And just click this export button to proceed. You can choose task from currently applied filter or all tasks in this project. And upon clicking the export button, you will now be able to see here that the exporting task has now been in progress. So all you need to do is to wait for it to get notified that the exporting process has now been completed. And as you can see, we're currently under this list view and to choose different kind of view we have here a group that we can choose from or this board that we can simply navigate and drag it to simply change the status of it. Moving on to the top panel, you could also navigate here this plan and it will show in here the overview about different kind of plan including evaluation pace, rollout plan and many more in which each plan includes various features that enhance service delivery such as incident management, asset management and automation capabilities. Well, under the settings option on the top panel, from here you can navigate the general, the task type, status, priority, forms and fields that we can start customizing on the settings option. Such as the status of it, we have here three statuses and by clicking the new button, you can simply add here or create a new status if you want to. For example, I'm going to create done status and the category of it is completed. And after clicking the save button below to proceed, you'll now be able to see here that the done status has now been added. And you could also choose here the priority that you can add if you want to with its color coding and even these forms and fields to add and customize and even the members that you can simply invite by clicking the plus new button and simply fill out the required information to do so. And by clicking the plus button on the top right corner, we could also choose to create a ticket or report an issue or add an agency in here by simply entering here their email address in order to proceed to roll or invite them directly. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could even navigate some other options such as tickets, list, employee, journeys, problems, and other options in here that we can start navigating to start reporting a problem or issue. So basically, all of these options are important in creating or navigating a project management plan on freshservice.com. But overall, that is just basically how you can use Fresh Service in project management. Thank you.